just gonna be doing a little vlog me living alone just enjoying the day being alone and what it's like should we do a little snap transition boom bed is made i'm going to feed phoenix so y'all know that I don't actually live alone. I have a roommate, my best friend, but we're not gonna be roommates for very much longer and I'm actually completely alone today. So I let my boyfriend borrow my car, so I'm stranded in my apartment and my best friend had to go get her car fixed, which is gonna take like all day, an hour away, cause that's the place where she has a warranty. So today I'm living alone. I've also lived alone multiple times in my life. I've lived alone in the house that I own in Missouri. I've lived alone in this apartment. I've lived alone in my apartment in Utah. So I've been through a lot of living alone and we're gonna kind of experience that again today. Also, the reason that I'm not gonna have a roommate anymore soon isn't because me and Charlie had falling out. Her fiance is coming back from deployment so they're gonna be moving back to near his work and obviously getting a place together. Before we get started with anything, I just wanna let you guys know a little bit of my to-do list. First, we need to do my Bible study for the day and make coffee. At some point, I need to go on a walk, get some cleaning done, film a video, make some TikToks, I need to make dinner tonight, I need to play with Phoenix, of course, and apply to the apartment that I want today. And I'll talk a little bit about living alone and how that has helped me in my coming of age era. So let's have a fun day. Like I said, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of living alone versus roommates. So I've lived with family outside of my childhood, I've lived with a spouse, I've lived with a roommate, and I've lived by myself. So let's start with those pros. Most obvious, you have so much independence and freedom. You are not relying on anyone else. You're completely on your own. You can hang out with people whenever you want. You can decorate however you want. You can walk around wearing whatever you want. You can hang out in any part of the apartment and it's all just you. You can have anyone over at any time because it's your place. There's so much self to discovery and honestly it's really empowering and builds a lot of confidence in yourself and my favorite is that you can choose when you want to be around people versus when you just want to be by yourself honestly i thought my house was a lot dirtier than it is it's pretty clean so i'm actually going to start a little bit of my moving process i want to start taking down things that are hanging and nails that need to come out so that i can start patching holes so that's probably the most annoying part about moving and also a little side note i really hope i get the apartment i want because the kitchen has really good lighting like do you see what i'm working with here it sucks this apartment has been so dark the whole time living here that's why i'm always in my room because my room has two huge windows but nowhere else in this apartment is there even decent lighting of course the idea of living alone can seem really scary and sometimes it kind of is so here are some of the cons you have to cook all of your own meals and clean up after yourself but there is less of cleaning and there is less cooking because it's just you but sometimes when you have roommates you can all kind of pitch in on dinners or breakfast and stuff like that so you're not doing as much it can be very expensive it's usually a lot more expensive to live alone because you're not going to be splitting rent and utilities and all that sometimes it can be kind of lonely i like having alone time and obviously you can still hang out with people whenever you want but actually being alone all day if you don't get yourself out of the house then it can feel lonely and honestly guys it can be kind of scary as like a young single woman that's probably the scariest part about living alone is just what if something bad happens but just be very very cautious about showing where you live your address telling people you live alone all that no more shelf i'm debating if i should just go ahead and take these down and it is really nice having these curtains here so i'm like do i take them down now or i mean i really didn't even have these up till like i don't know december so i think i can survive without them but i don't really want to i was jamming out some music on my google home and then it stopped working so i was like okay i guess i'll just listen to youtube on here because i forgot i don't even have spotify downloaded on my tv anymore and then i realized that my modem was out so i restarted my modem and then i just got a notification that there's just like a wi-fi outage with xfinity around here right now so I might not have wi-fi for like an hour which means i'll be listening to music just boneless on my phone if i had to choose between living alone or living with people i don't know if i could because there are so many pros and cons to both of them and another one of my favorite things about living alone Alone is having to figure everything out like you are fully in adult mode and you have to figure out how to do all of this stuff and it literally is so empowering that nail might be stripped such as learning how to do handiwork and figure out what happens if your screw is stripped <laughs> so i do love living alone but i also love living with people and it really just depends who you live with i would strongly suggest only living with people that you really trust obviously you're very comfortable around but you're also not afraid to be confrontational if there's a situation that comes up i'll try with just a screwdriver oh okay 
That works, we're good. We are not in trouble anymore. I had to charge my camera for a little bit, but the only things left hanging, I took all that down, I took all the stuff above there down, took stuff up down over there. Only thing left are these and then those two things. I think this made the biggest difference in making it feel very empty in here. Anyway, I haven't eaten today yet, so I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers from that. Last night, we made sausage potatoes and green beans, so I'm gonna add my favorite hot sauces, which is this hot sauce, and then just some sriracha. Did you know there's a sriracha shortage right now? I can't find sriracha anywhere, so I've gotta use this sparingly. Me, using it sparingly. <laughs> I got a text from Xfinity saying that they probably won't have the Wi-Fi fixed until like midnight tonight. So I guess I'm stuck watching my show on my phone and it's the season finale. It's actually the show finale. I'm watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's the last episode of the show and I have to watch it on my phone, but I'll survive. Apparently there's also gonna be a tropical storm for the next like two days, so wish me luck. I'm getting in my Phoenix cuddle time, so I let him come downstairs. And he just keeps walking right in front of my face. Okay, but now he's just sitting. What's up, buddy? He's not. This is what he always does to me. Right before my Phoenix Scuttle Times, I actually did make a couple of TikToks, so you can check that off my list. And I also was filming a video, so you can check that off my list. I don't know what the situation is or what's wrong with me that makes me be like this, but no matter who I live with, I always feel like someone else is waiting on me. Even if I know they aren't, even if we're doing our own thing, I will just get stressed and be like, oh my gosh, I need to like go make sure we're not doing something. I don't know why I do that to myself, but that is a benefit of living alone is I always am by myself and relying on myself. I don't have to be like, hmm, is this person Person waiting on me. I think this is a sign I really like living alone. When no one is at my apartment, I'm like, yay, I have the whole day to myself. As if I don't normally have the whole day to myself. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick and I'll see you after. I showered and now I'm ready for the day and I'm wearing jean shorts. I've always been a jean shorts hater. They're just not comfy, but these ones are pretty stretchy and comfy. And since I've been working out, all of my clothes just like fit a little better. So that's really nice. Okay, little apartment update. I really want to apply. I have all of my stuff filled out, but I decided to email over all my proof of income stuff to the manager just because I don't want to pay the deposit and the application fee and the administration fee and all the stupid fees just to be denied. I sent that over and I'm just waiting on them to reply. I don't know how long that's gonna take. So hopefully I can still get this apartment. And I'm hungry, so let's go make dinner. And while there's a lot you can learn when you live alone and a lot of self-discovery and independence, I might even argue that there's a lot more to learn when you live with other people, especially people you're not related to or in a relationship with because you have to learn how to deal with another person and how to set boundaries. And I think that is very, very important to your adult life. And like I said, it depends on who you live with. Like whenever I've lived with someone I was in a relationship with, it's a completely different dynamic than someone you're not related to at all or in a relationship with. And if you're living with people either in a relationship or really good friends, it's so nice knowing that your favorite people are literally in your house. And if you wanna hang, you can just knock on the door or text them and be like, let's hang. It's like instant hangout times is the best. And honestly, if you have the opportunity, even if it's just for a short amount of time to live alone and experience it, I would definitely recommend. I've done almost everything on my to-do list except gone on a walk, but honestly, I'm not gonna have time tonight because I still need to edit and I have a Bible study I'm going to tonight. So it's just kind of a packed day, but Charlie is back. So we're gonna take her car and go to my favorite coffee shop and I'm gonna get some work done there. Epic packing for the coffee shop montage. Backpack, laptop, hard drive, converter, camera. Just to wrap up, I do love living alone, but I also love people because I'm an extrovert, so I really could never decide. And the problem is I also work from home, so getting out and working at a coffee shop is such a good change of pace and realizing that there are other humans in this world and it helps me get out of my head. 